Hey, so now that we've talked about what it's going to cost to build our invention and then what we're going to charge for it when we sell it, well, let's talk about what it would take if you made to make a million. This is called If You Made a Million, and it's by David M. Schwartz, and it was illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. If You Made a Million. Congratulations, you have earned a penny. It will buy you anything that cost one cent. Not many things cost one penny. Well done, you've made a nickel. Hooray, now you have a dime. We've talked about how uh, one dime equals two nickels or 10 pennies and one nickel equals five pennies, haven't we? Excellent, for your hard work, you've earned a quarter and that's the same amount of money as five nickels or two dimes and one nickel or three nickels and one dime or 25 pennies. It still won't buy you much though, huh? Maybe a gumball. Wonderful, you are now a dollar richer. And one dollar is worth as much as four quarters, just like we learned in Lemon Limeade, right? Or 10 dimes or 25 nickels or 100 pennies. <laughs> you could use your dollar to buy 100 pieces of penny candy or 25 cent balloons or 10 sti stickers worth 10 cents each or four rubber balls that are 25 cents a piece. Or perhaps you would you'd like to save your dollar. You could put it in a bank and a year from now it would be worth one dollar and a nickel. The bank wants to use your money and it will pay you five cents to leave your dollar there for a year. The extra five cents is called interest. If you waited 10 years, your dollar would earn 64 cents in interest just from sitting in the bank. And you're you interested in earning lots of, are you interested in earning lots of interest? Wait 25 years because your $1 will grow into $2.70 if you just keep it in the bank and don't spend it. Delicious, you've baked a cake and you've earned $5. You could be paid with one $5 bill or five $1 bills. It doesn't matter, they have the same value. Stupendous, you've made $10. How would you like to be paid? One $10 bill or two $5 bills or Ten one dollar bills. Take your pick. They'll all be worth ten dollars. If you prefer coins, you can have a five foot stack of pennies. That's one thousand of them. Or a 15 inch stack of 100 nickels. You could also be paid with 100 dimes, which would stack up just over five inches tall. Or you could receive ten dollars as a three and one quarter inch pile of 40 quarters. That's crazy. You could spend your $10 on 10 kittens or 1,000 kitty snacks, or you could take your mom to the movies. But you maybe would rather save your money, and if you left your $10 in the bank for 10 years, it will earn you $6.40 of interest, which will then give you $16.40 if you kept it in the bank for 10 whole years. If you leave it there for 50 years, your $10 will grow to $138.02. You worked hard to earn $100. You decided to spend it on a plane ticket to the beach. You could pay with a $100 bill or two $50 bills or $50, $20, $520 bills or many other combinations like six fives, three tens, and two twenties, for instance. Paying with pennies? Well, you'll need 10,000 of them and they'll make a 50 foot stack. You've worked long and hard and you've earned $1,000. You're going to buy a pet. You could pay with coins or bills. It's a big pet, a hippo. If you don't like the idea of carrying $1,000 around with you, you can put it in the bank and you could pay for your hippo with a check. The check tells your bank to give $1,000 to the person who sold you a hippo. So you write out the amount on the piece of paper and the bank will give that person the money. Here's how it works. You give the check to the person who sold you the hippo and he gives it to his bank and his bank sends you a very busy clearing house, sends it to a very busy clearing house in the city and the clearing house in the city tells your bank to take $1,000 of your money and after the bank does that, the clearing house tells the hippo salesman's bank to add $1,000 of his money to his money so he can take it and use whenever and however he likes. Maybe he'll use it to raise more hippos. If you use pennies to purchase a $10,000 Ferris wheel, 
someone might not be too happy about it. Even if you use 10,000 one dollar bills they might be that might that would be mighty hard to handle look at all these pennies that it would take to buy this this uh, ferris wheel so probably a check would be best where you can write out the amount magnificent you've earned fifty thousand dollars and you're about to read you've just read about a well-worn unloved but perfectly fixable castle for sale and the price is one hundred thousand dollars the castle cost a hundred thousand and you only have fifty so you're 50,000 short, but you can still buy the castle. You could use the money you've earned as a down payment and the bank would lend you the rest. They would say, here you go, here's some money that you have to pay us back. Then you would pay the bank back a little at a time, month after month after month. You'd buy your castle and you'd pay them back for many years, but the amount you must pay the bank will be more than you borrowed. And that's because the bank charges for lending you the money. The extra money that they charge is called interest. Just like the interest the bank pays you when it uses your money. Now you're using the bank's money, so you must pay interest to the bank. If you have some very expensive plans, you may have to take on a tough job that pays well. If you think ogre taming, look at this. If you think ogre taming would be an exciting challenge, challenge. You can have fun and make a great deal of money too. Of course, you may not enjoy taming obstreperous ogres or building bulky bridges or painting purple pots. Enjoying your work is more important than money, so you should look for another job or make less expensive plans. Congratulations, you've made one million. A million dollars! That's a stack of pennies 95 miles high or enough nickels to fill a school bus or a whale's weight in quarters. Wow, that's a lot of quarters. Would you prefer your million in paper money? Even if a paper million is a heavy load, a million $1 bills would weigh 2,500 pounds and stack up to 360 feet Whoa, taller than our houses. What's the smallest your million could be? $100 bills are the largest made today, and it would take 10,000 of them to pay you for your feat of ogre taming. But a check for $1 million would easily fit right into your pocket or your purse. And it's worth the same as the towering stacks of pennies or bills. Now you can afford to buy tickets to the moon. Or you can purchase some real estate for those endangered rhinoceroses. But if you'd rather save your million than spend it, you could put it in the bank where it would earn interest. The interest on a million is about $1,000 a week or $143 a day or $6 an hour or 10 cents a minute just from sitting in the bank. If you keep your million, you can probably live on interest without doing any more work for the rest of your life. You might like that or you could find it rather dull. It'd be pretty dull. Making money means making choices. So what would you do if you made a million? Ha. Ha. Thanks, guys. What would you do if you made a million? What if your invention makes a million dollars? What if you go and sell it and you make a million dollars after you pay for all of the things it costs to make it? You would have a lot of money. And what would you do with that money? Think about that. So think about that as you think about what you want to charge for your invention, okay? All right, guys.